God is faithful. Somebody shout out, God is faithful. God is faithful. And he will always provide a way of escape. You remember the last time you were getting ready to do something that you had no business doing? You were almost there. Getting ready to do it. And I don't know where your phone rang. It was work. That was God just providing a way of what? Escape. But we get that thing where the thing say, you know it. You know it. We went on back to what we were doing. Amen. Come on, but God is faithful. God always provides a way of it. Every time I've ever messed up in my life, when I look back at it, there was always an escape. Brothers, what we got to do is we got to pray to God. And God, yeah, I know I'm going to be tempted. But when the temptation comes, let me see the escape right and give me enough sense to take it. Okay, let me, let me explain this way. Have any of you ever got caught up in a sin tornado? Y'all ain't never heard of a sin tornado? Sin tornadoes, is, you know, when stuff like this, when you know when people mess up and they say it, it just... It just happened. It just happened. Like, like, she called you. What you doing? I'm just chilling, just chilling. <laughs> Won't you come on over? So you get over. You come over, we just gonna talk about the Lord, we just gonna talk about the Lord. Then all of a sudden, one of them sin tornado just show up. <laughs> and the wind get to blowing. And all of a sudden, you downstairs. Studying scriptures and all of a sudden the tornado kept going. <laughs> Next thing you know, it blew both of you all the way upstairs. <laughs> when you got upstairs, it kept going. <laughs> blew both of your clothes off. <laughs> kept on blowing. <laughs> and you landed, and, and you know what happened next. And then when you finish, it just. Then you come back in church. All sad and all sorry. But can I tell you the only reason that you're sorry is because your flesh has already been satisfied. Have you ever noticed once your flesh gets satisfied, it's easy to say I'm sorry. But when are we gonna learn to stop it before we even let our flesh get the gratification? And God is faithful, He don't want any of us tied up with sin breaks. God wants us. Now here's the deal. This is the way temptation works. Every one of us in here got some desire. Somebody shout desire. Desire. I talk about myself because I'm free to talk about myself. I'm delivered and I don't have to be ashamed of anything anymore. But here's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so the bag of weed, grab me on this stage, just going to stay in the bag. That ain't my thing. I don't have a desire for that. Sell a bag of coke, cocaine up here on the stage. I can look at it for two weeks. Just ain't my thing. I don't have a desire for that. Sit, sit, sell a bottle of Ciroc. I look at it real hard. That's about it. That just ain't my thing. That just ain't my thing. You can leave a bag of money. That ain't gonna bother me. That, that, that ain't my thing. But I tell the brothers at the church, you, you see me talking to one of them that, that, that's got a big booty and, and, and some pretty white teeth? Somebody come get me. Somebody come get me. Somebody come get me. Somebody shot this kind of thing. That's my thing. That's my thing. But I know what my thing is. And you got to be wise enough to know what your thing is. So in order to be tempted, you got to have a desire. Somebody shout desire. Desire. But the second thing that you got to have, brothers, is availability. Right. Availability. It's easy not to cheat on your wife if ain't nobody hollering at you. Right. But what if somebody hollering at you every Sunday you come to church? Uh -huh. Women in church, they're desperate. Now, it's single women that want somebody so bad. Right. And you come in here, they see you lifting over hands. You love the Lord. You become an example. You become a prime target. Right. So what do you do when the temptation comes? And they're readily available. You got to pray to God that he gives you discipline. 
And you brothers got to learn to keep each other accountable. 